Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about the power theorems. There are three of them uh, related to secants, tangents, and chords in a circle, and their similarity or the relationship between portions of the secants, tangents, and chords and each other. All right, so let's talk about the first power theorem. First one is the chord chord power theorem. So it says if two chords of a circle intersect inside the circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. So if I say this is X, and this is Y, and this is A segment, and this is B segment, then I can say the product of the measures of the segments of one chord, so X times Y, is going to be equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord, AB. All right. So if two chords of a circle inter intersect inside the circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. Well, how do we know this is true? We actually proved this uh, in uh, section two sections ago. So we're given, and let's go through the proof again, we're given a diagram as shown. So I have uh, this circle here, circle O, and I have uh, two chords, VN and SL, that intersect at point E. And uh, let's figure out the relationship between, and we actually want to prove that EV, so one portion of the chord times the other portion of the chord, is equal to one portion of the intersecting chord times the remaining portion of that intersecting chord. So we're first going to start by saying that angle V and angle S are congruent. Angle V and angle S are congruent, and they're congruent because they intercept the same arc LN. Then I'm going to say that angle L here and angle N are congruent, and I'm going to say that they're congruent for the same reason. They intercept the same arc. This time it's VS. So I can say that triangle LVE is going to be similar to NSE by AA. And then I can set up my ratios, so I say that EV, EV, is to SE, SE, as EL, EL, is to EN. So EV over SE is equal to EL over EN. And then I use the means extremes product theorem to show that EV times EN uh, is equal to EL times SE. And that's what we're trying to prove here, right? EL, a portion of the chord, times SE, the remaining portion of the chord is equal to NE, one portion of the chord, uh, times the remaining portion of that intersecting chord. All right, so the chord-chord power theorem again, if two chords intersect inside a circle, and the product of the measures of the segments of one chord, X times Y, is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord, AB. All right, theorem, the second theorem, we're gonna call this theorem 96. It's the tangent secant power theorem. And it says if a tangent segment and a secant segment are drawn from an external point, so the external point is A, to a circle, so I have my tangent AB and my secant AD, then the square of the measure of the tangent segment, so AB squared, uh, is equal to the product of the measures of the entire secant segment, AD, times its external part, which is AC. So AB squared is equal to AD times AC. Well, how do we know that this is true? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to show that we have two similar triangles again. And I, what I've done is I've drawn my triangle ABD, and I've taken this point here, which is uh, AC. C is the point of intersection between the secant and the circle, which we'll call, let's just say, we'll say this is circle O. And so I'm going to say first that uh, angle A is congruent to itself. So angle A is congruent to itself. And then I'm going to say that angle ABC is congruent to angle BDA. And I know that because I have a, a tangent chord and a chord and a chord or an inscribed angle. They both intercept the same arc, arc BC. So angle ABC is congruent to angle BDC because they both intercept the same arc, BC. So therefore, I can say that triangle ABC is similar to ADB by angle-angle similarity. And then I set up my relationship. I have AC. So AC, let's use a marker here. So AC is to AB 
as AB is to AD. And then I use my means extremes product theorem to say that AC times AD is equal to AB squared. And that's what we're after here. So the tangent squared is equal to the external part of the secant times the entire secant segment. All right, last power theorem. Uh, this is the secant secant power theorem, and it says if two secant segments are drawn from an external point to a circle, then the product of the measures of one secant segment and its external part is equal to the product of the measures of the other secant segment, segment and its external part. So we're going to say that AC times AB is equal to AE times AD. So again, if two secant segments are drawn from an external point to a circle, and the product of the measures of one secant segment and its external part is equal to the product of the measures of the other secant segment and its external part. Well, how do we know this is true? All right, so let's go through the same process. I'm going to draw two lines, one from B to E and then one from D to C. And I end up with two similar triangles, ADC and ABE. So first, I'm going to say that uh, angle A is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. And I can say that angle C and angle E are congruent because they intersect the same arc BD. Now I know that angle or triangle AEB is similar to triangle ACD by the angle-angle postulate, angle-angle similarity postulate. And then I set up my relationship. AB is to AD as AE is to AC. And then again, I use the means extremes product theorem to show that AB times AC is equal to AD times AE. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, let's use this in a couple problems and then we'll be done and we'll move on to some practice problems. All right, so the first one is to find the measure of X, identify the, po the power theorem used. Okay, so I know that nine, according to the chord chord power theorem, I know that xy is equal to ab, or the uh, product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. So this is going to be the chord chord power theorem. And I, so I know that 9 times 4, and let's change this pen back to a regular pen, is equal to 12x. So 36 is equal to 12x, and x ends up being equal to 3. So that's the first problem. Second problem uh, is going to be our secant secant power theorem, because I have two secants. Before I had two chords, and I have two secants. And I know that, and you have to be careful here, because it's not 6x. I know that the entire secant segment here, 6 plus x times its external portion, 6, is equal to uh, 15 plus 8 times its external portion, 8. So let's see what we get. We have 36 plus 6x is equal to 120. So 15 times 8 is 120 plus 64. So I have 36 plus 6x is equal to 184. I subtract 36 from both sides. And I'm left with 36 is equal to 148, if I'm not mistaken. And so x is going to be 148 over 6. And let me just take a look at my trusted uh, calculator, and I'll be right back with you. And you, of course, can follow along using your own calculator. It leaves me with 24 and 2 thirds units for the value of x. So I'm using my secant secant power theorem. All right, the last problem. Uh, find the measure of x, identify the power theorem used. So we have a tangent and a secant. So my secant tangent power theorem or my tangent secant power theorem. And remember again that that says that the tangent segment and the secant segment are drawn from an external point to a circle. The square of the measure of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the measures of the entire secant segment and its external part. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I have x squared then, x squared, 
is equal to the entire secant segment times its external part. So it's gonna be 13 times four. So nine plus four is 13 times four is 52. So x squared is equal to 52. Now x is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 52. I believe that we have a perfect square in four. Right, so I have x is equal to plus or minus 2 root 13. And I know that the length of a uh, portion of the secant cannot be negative, so I know that the length of x, I'm sorry, I know that the tangent segment cannot be negative, so I know that the tangent segment length is going to be 2 root 13. Okay, that's it for Rotten Math. Come and join us for some practice problems on the power theorems. Again, secant, 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 tangent, and tangent, tangent, power theorems in the next edition of Otten Math.